All right, so let's go around and introduce you guys. I have here uh, Joe Tropea, who is the director of Sickies Making Films, and we're, we're lucky to have uh, also editor and co-producer. And, yep, and writer. And writer. Anything else? Uh, no, Jesus that's it. And Christ. Oh. <laughs> Great yeah, collaborator of Joe Tropea. All right. My name is Robert Emmons. Yeah. And, um, Perfect. You're listening I was, to Film Wax Radio. Yeah, yes, you're listening, you're listening to Film Wax Radio. Yeah. All right. Live from the wind-up space. That's right, the wind-up space. I can never remember what it's called. Yeah, so we, uh, we're, we're here at the uh, wind-up space at uh, the Maryland Film Festival, day three, 2018, correct? Your yes. film is called, again, Sickies Making Films, which is about uh, Baltimore's history of film censorship. Yes, the nation's history of uh, yeah. film and the, censorship. And the nation's, but yes. Baltimore has the, um, the primary role. I think in the film, yeah. That's uh, that's Robert. Well, yeah. In other words, you have the auspicious sort of uh, reputation, or the, uh, the longest lasting being the longest censor lasting. Or through eighty one, I believe. Yes, nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty one, and it started what in the twenties or thirties? It started here in nineteen sixteen. It started sixteen. Yeah, nineteen sixteen. In Baltimore, uh, or yeah, in Maryland. In Maryland, it started then. It started right. earlier than that. Uh, Chicago, nineteen oh seven. Right. And uh, it's spread around the country like a, <laughs> like a plague. So in a way, it, your film takes the kind of like granular approach to censorship by looking at how what was going on in Maryland and the history of that, right? Because like most most people like myself would know we're familiar with the Hayes Code. I think right. it's called right. Yep. So in about the twenties or thirties, maybe it was the thirties or forties even, but it was like that all of a sudden. You know, this there was this government office that decided to start to uh, censor films because of sexual or suggestive con- content, right? Right. But until right. then, there was this whole period before pre-censorship. Pre-censorship is that what it's called? Yep. Pre-code films. I pre-code, think that's what they call right. them. Right. Uh, which you know, or, or you know, you look at them and they're like, wow, they got away with that. Yeah. But, you know, no yeah. wonder they got there. They should. They just trash talk. May West trying to look it up and down. Cary Grant. Right. <laughs> oh, is that? Uh, <laughs> come up and see me. Yeah, you know. Anyway, now who is this woman? Mary, what's her name? Mary Avera was Avera. Uh, a, uh, on our censor board for over twenty years. She was like just a low level. She was cog. a secretary. Yeah, she was I mean, number three on the board. Okay, but uh, she kind of was the she de behaved facto. Like number two. Yes, she, was, she had a strong. <laughs> That's good. Number like two, that. tendency. Uh, yeah. But she was very, very camera ready, even yeah. though she was sort of. <laughs> she was, she a, was may yeah. have been the lowest person on the totem pole. She was yeah. certainly the loudest person, I think. Right. On the so pole. she sort of appears in your. She's a presence in your. She in kind your of uh, takes the role as uh, John Waters' uh, arch nemesis in, oh, right. in the story. Yeah. John Waters, you mentioned, who is uh, one of the talking heads in the film, plays a prominent role in the story and in the real story. So it makes sense that he would be in your film because yeah. he was like one of the forces that pushed up against Mary. Although he seems kind of like on some level, I won't get too carried away with it, but it seems on some level he was kind of also amused by the, her or the, her what she was, tr- this this oddball was. Maybe un- only somewhat, slightly, yeah, but I think slightly. it got to. Maybe. In yeah. retrospect. Yeah, it got Since to a point where he, I think, was not really amused anymore by her because it was yeah, so, it right. was such an impact to his Oh, financially, yeah. emotionally, artistically right. to his work. And, and yeah, especially uh, John Waters, maybe more than almost any other filmmaker other than maybe Russ Myers. There's only a handful that you could think of, that her contemporaries of hers, that would really bristle. Yeah, like Well, anybody would, but they're, that, considering what they were trying to do. Right. I and they were taking an artistic approach to it, too. It wasn't and, just... And, yeah. and at the same time, though, uh, in a lot of ways, she helped catapult his career. I mean, she helped That's him true. make headlines here... In, in Baltimore, for sure. Uh, and she probably helped him on a national level to some extent because she, she went national. She did the talk show circuit. She was on what? Carson. She was on Dick Cabot. It's incredible. Uh, Mike Douglas. Did, Mike Douglas? Yeah. That was out of Philadelphia. Yep. Now, did they... Uh, that's your hometown. Yep, that is. That's how come you knew. Did they find her, like, just, like, good television? Is that? I mean, obviously they did. Uh, why would a national... Top-rated talk show book. Yeah, she was boisterous, her, a secretary she outspoken. A, yeah, um, everything. You know, uh, there are many been, there have been many characters throughout talk show history that yeah. uh, hosts have brought on 
uh, and she was certainly one of those t- types of people where you could always count on some great one-liner, some nice ear candy from her. At, at one point, Waters refers to her as the Mrs. Miller of, uh, yeah, of movie character. censorship. Yeah. So one of these Mrs. notorious... Miller? Uh, there was a, a, a singer who had a horrible voice, uh, but that didn't stop her from putting out records. And her, like I think her wealthy husband encouraged her to. Uh, oh, I get it. Yeah, and uh, right. she was so bad, she was great, kind of thing. Sure, um, right. So yeah, that's Waters' take on Mary Avera. And she used to appear on, on the uh, national talk shows as well. The night, the night shows. Yeah. The Mrs. Miller. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. Uh, well. The film, again, is called Sickies Making Films, and it's uh, you, Joe Tropea, Tropea is the uh, director, and again, it's edited and written by uh, Robert Emmons, uh, and, and it's going to be playing in the uh, documentary festival circuit. You are local, right, uh, Joe? Yes, You're I, from, uh, you I live, live here in Baltimore? mere blocks from here, yes. Just blocks. Just blocks. Are you born and raised here? I'm born and raised in Baltimore. I've, you are. I've lived about uh, uh-huh. here and there, but I keep coming back to uh, to Baltimore. So. He's pulling you back. Yeah. yeah. Um, and is how many fe- how many documentaries have you made before this one? Uh, I had a previous feature called Hit and Stay that I made with uh, Skiz Sizik, who also is the cinematographer mm-hmm. on this project. Oh, right. We should mention our, um, our Film Wax Radio friend, Skiz Sizik, who yeah. will also be uh, appearing again. I talked to Skiz the other day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we made that in, uh, that played at the Maryland Festival and other festivals back in 2013. And we've, uh, we've consistently worked together since then. We pulled uh, Bobby here into our, our mix of... Uh, how did you guys, how did you meet? Because you, you said you're from Philly, uh, or at least, are you from Philadelphia yeah, proper? So I am or are from, you from a, one of the... I uh, live in New Jersey, in a suburb in oh, New Jersey. Oh, I'm sorry. So you're, but, you're, you but, live in I New mean, Jersey, right. I mean, you can see the Philadelphia skyline from where I am. Oh. Um, so I'm very, very close uh, got, got to a Philadelphia. Little sh- little sh- yeah. Uh, so we, we met, uh, uh, jo- uh, we had brought Joe to my university. I'm at Rutgers University in Camden, right across the river from Philadelphia. Oh, right. You are very and close. And we had um, Hit and Stay come play at the university. And that's where uh, we had met, and Joe was kind enough to bring my film that I had at the time, another film about censorship called Diagram for Delinquents, about mm-hmm. comic book censorship. I came here in Baltimore, and we got to talking, and I asked Joe what he was working on, and he told me about this project, and I was like, Do you have how an editor? can I get in on this? Yeah. Oh, really? So. Uh-huh. Nice. It's, and it's all... Uh History from there. Yeah. Well, yep. it's all history. Yep. Anyway, so we had a couple of screenings here, and you had your world premiere at the at the Maryland Film Festival just the other day. We actually, our world premiere was Big Sky. Back oh, it in, was? Uh, in yeah. February. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it was. Well, why didn't you, didn't you want to do it here? What, what? Um, That's a great opportunity. Yeah, and, I mean, that was a good opportunity. That, uh, it's a fest I've always wanted to play. Yeah, I guess um, so. so. It's, it's nice to, to... And they don't have a problem with it. It's to premiere away from home, maybe. I guess you're right. In a, in yeah. a weird kind of way. No, no, it makes sense. Which makes you more heroic right. as you come back into town with right. the, the stench of victory on you. Yeah, as you come in on a white horse and a giant... What do they call you know, this? The cent- central uh, eastern seaboard... Is that what they call it? Mid Atlantic. Mid Atlantic. Mid Atlantic. Mid Atlantic. That's yes. what I was looking for. Mid Atlantic uh, premiere. Yes. Yes. Very good. And uh, everybody came out because. Uh, right? Oh yeah. The Friends and family of the first two screenings have been great. That's um, great. A lot of the participants uh, have come. John Waters was there on the. Opening. Oh, he was. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, along with many other mm-hmm. uh, guests in the film. So I, the screenings have been pretty tremendous. So I'm, I'm afraid the the. Subsequent Q and A's will suffer uh, not having John Waters at them, but uh, he was well. great. He was right out there from the front, you know. Right. First comments question. about the film. First question. First comment. So it was really felt really good to have him right there for the, for the film. Sure, and uh, you know he's obviously very very not only supportive of you guys, but he's supportive of this festival. Absolutely, for sure. yeah, he for has the, been from the get go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and for those who don't know, he hosts a screening every year, right? Yes, yep. he did one last night. I I couldn't make it, but uh, did you guys go? I didn't make it either. No, oh, no. I I went to see Short Docs. Yeah, we okay. went to see the Short Docs. We felt a kinship with that. Sure, so. <laughs> of course. But it's always a film that I put on my list to right. to catch up to after. Right, you the know, fest. you know, to catch up with the film at least. Yeah, and this right. one is uh, I Olga, which is on Netflix. I understand. Yeah. Oh, wow. So there I you go. It's a film I've wanted to see. It's it looks, Me too. It's dark and funny. I mean, it's a kind of a perfect film for him to present yeah 
Um, and the lead actress, she seems really great in it. So mm -hmm. it's a film I'll definitely catch, for sure. Well, I think you mentioned already the last time, but uh, I'm going to ask you again. Is, uh, do you, you have some, some upcoming festivals you can mention? Yeah, or we can. Uh, our, next, our next stop is uh, San Francisco Docs Film Fest. When is that? That is in early June. I believe oh, our right dates up. are June 2nd and June 4th. The festival starts May 31st, though, so it's pretty yes. long. But we're, yes. right. we're that right. our next friends weekend in. Our, fr our, our friends on the Bay can uh, ch check out the San Francisco docks. Yes, please. And then we, then we swing back to the East Coast and do uh, New Haven Docks Film Fest. Okay. Uh, they June the 7th or 8th? Well, yeah. so. uh, yep, 7th. June 7th at 8.30 p.m. Very and then good. We, uh, Very good with those facts and figures there. <laughs> uh, then we bounce back to the West Coast to do Film Invasion LA. So right. A little back and forth from seaboard to seaboard. Well, if you're like interested in the history of film, and many listeners are, are uh, uh, for this to this podcast, you'll want to try to check out uh, Sicky's Making Films, and we'll keep people in touch with uh, what goes on with the film and how people can see it going forward. So, in case Great. anybody's interested, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, thanks for having and, us. And you know, thank you very much for everything. I'm glad we were able to pull this off. Godspeed. <laughs> Could you hear me? I was, I was yes. probably trailing, trailing off there.